there, everybody. I'm Matt with Don't Burn the House Down. What does money feel like to you? Is it a couple of greenbacks in your pocket? Maybe it's a couple of coins just burning a hole in your wallet. Or maybe, if you're like me, it feels like the warm March sunshine beaming down on your face. Oh, hey there, champ. Didn't see you there. On today's episode, we're gonna go through some mind-bending and real boring numbers to talk about how I made money last year with solar panels. So buckle up, Buttercup. It's time to be bored out of your mind with some facts and figures. That's actually really freaking bright. So buckle up, Buttercup. It's time to be bored out of your mind with some facts and figures that show how I made money in 2020 off of those babies. Right there. Don't burn the house down. Or do. I don't think anybody's watching at this point. Ah! Let's get the big number out of the way first. The cost of my system was $54,000, okay? I had a 30% federal tax incentive that's, that came off of my taxes, which I spread out over the next two years. I took that money and put it right back on the loan, which brought the actual purchase price of my system down to a little under $38,000. That's the upfront cost. I chose to finance my system with an incredibly low finance rate. I'm not gonna fact that into it. Uh, it was something around like two or 3% because it was a home equity loan. So my ultimate purchase price of the system will be more than what I signed for, but it's offset by my monthly savings. So what monthly savings am I talking about exactly? Well, to give you a visual aid, these. These are all checks that I got over the course of 2020 from Excel Energy. These are checks back for overproduction. See, the way that it works here in Minnesota is if you produce more than you use, your meter actually spins backwards. Excel Energy has really nice rates where they charge me literally penny for penny, whether I use electricity or whether I produce electricity. It comes out to be something like uh, eight to 10 kilowatt or cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, but that's if I produce it or if I consume it. So during the day, when the sun is shining like it is right now, my meter is rapidly spinning backwards. And then at nighttime, when I'm using and the sun is not out, my meter spins the normal way. They tally that up at midnight and they say, for the day, you overproduced blank amount of electricity. They then take that total amount for the month and they give me these, checks, lots of checks. <laughs> so let's break down the numbers and see exactly how much I spent or how much I saved. So right off the bat, my average electric bill for the two years prior to getting my solar installed came out to be about $200 per month. Now there were some months where it was less, there were some months where it was a lot more, but the average was right around $200. That was my baseline metric. After I took my federal tax rebates and put them back onto my loan uh, during the 15 month amortization period, I brought my payment down to 170 a month, which is where it will be for the next, I don't remember how long it was, 10 to 15 years. So 170 a month is already saving me $30 per month over what my electric bill used to be. So if I can keep my electric bill at a net zero, I'm saving 30 bucks a month. But a net zero is not good enough. So here's what I actually did. Let's cue the visual aid. So starting in January, my bill was about $85. Obviously the sun is not out a whole lot in December and January, so that wasn't too bad. I definitely had some production, but it wasn't great. February, that bill was $61.65, and that's when it started to go positive come March. March, my check, my bill was a check back for $25.46, and then from there it went to April for a check back for $48.31. May, it started getting really nice with a check back for $133.50. June was another $138 check. July was a $106 check. August was an $81 check. September, an $88 check. October was a $68 check. November, I almost broke even with an $8.65 check. And December, I finally had to start paying in again at around $25 for my electric bill. Now, if you're looking at the electric bill that I just had sitting up there, you have to look at the bottom number because the top number is all the charges that they had to put on there to offset the payment. So they actually take the check from the month before and they levy it as a charge on the next month's check so that they can zero it out. It's simply for accounting, just ignore that top number. The bottom number is what actually came back or what I had to pay. So how does that tally up? 
Well, if you take the bills that I paid and subtract the checks that I got back, my electric bill for 2020 was a check back for $527.68. That's not bad. But as they used to say in the old game shows, that's not all. You see, Excel Energy also has what they call a solar rewards program. Now what that is, is not only do they pay you for your overproduction, but they give you a flat rate payment every year for 10 years based on your production. The contract that I sign is for seven cents per kilowatt hour. So what that means is every January, they tally up your entire year's production from the year before and they cut you a check for seven cents per kilowatt hour. That check came out to be $1,115.31. It's like a tax return every January and I'm gonna get that for 10 years. So if my solar system is able to produce a net zero every month, I'm already saving 30 bucks a month because my electric bill used to be 200 bucks, now my payment's 170. So it's 30 bucks a month, but it's actually a whole lot more than that. So last year from Excel Energy, I got checks back that totaled $527.68. That was just for my monthly production. Add to that my solar rewards payment and Excel Energy paid me $1,642.99. That's a pretty good payday from the electric company. So then if you take my payments of $2,040 and subtract that $1,642.99 credit, I paid $397 and one penny for electric for my entire house for the entire year. That is about $33 per month. Let that sink in. My electric bill that used to be $200 per month is now $33 per month. That is a savings of $167 every single month. Now that is a good decision. Now I know I went through a lot of numbers here, okay? And if you have any confusion on them, definitely hit me up in the comments below. I I try to reply to every single comment that I have on my channel. But the fact of the matter is, there's a lot of ways you can cut and slice and dice the numbers. You know, you may say, well, you're paying more because you're paying interest on the loan, which you're absolutely right, I get it. I'm not gonna get that granular into the details, but what I do know, is that I am paying about $33 a month for electricity now. And I will continue to do so for at least the next 10 years until my solar rewards expire. And even then, I won't be paying nearly as much as I used to for electricity. So it's an absolute no brainer for me to have gone solar because it pays me back. It's great for the environment and it's so much cheaper. Now, if you're asking yourself, how can I get a hold of some solar? If you live in Iowa, Massachusetts, Minnesota, New Hampshire, New York, or Wisconsin, hit the link that I have in the description below for All Energy Solar. They are one of the top uh, trusted name brands in solar installation. They're out of St. Paul, Minnesota. They're a local company. They're nationally known and very well renowned. A terrific company to work with. You can get a free quote from them. They'll come out and talk to you. So hit the link below. That is a referral link. So I do get a little bit of a kickback if you do that, just so we're on the level, but uh, you will not regret it. I absolutely promise you that much. So that's it, folks. I'm going to celebrate all these checks. And by the time you're watching this video, we should be at a thousand subscribers to the channel. From the bottom of my heart, everybody, thank you so much for your support on this momentous milestone. I never thought I'd get a hundred subscribers, let alone a thousand. So let's keep going, maybe hit 10,000, maybe hit a million, let's get famous. But thank you for watching and have a great day.